As we all know, around uh, our immediate tri-state region, the Sharon Playhouse has been putting on these incredible outdoor theater uh, shows now. Uh, They're on to their third, fourth, or fifth one. Uh, And uh, they have room for 52 cars for each one of these shows. Uh, And the cars are lined up in an outdoor theater, beautiful outdoor stage, sound system. You can listen either on your car radio to our assigned frequency or just open the windows and listen. Uh, It's really proven to be successful with almost every one of these shows being sold out. Uh, And there is another one already on the uh, schedule for the Sharon Playhouse, which is coming up on Saturday, September 5th at 8 p.m., The Perfect Fit, the musical. Uh, The uh, picture that I see for it says, A Perfectly Distant Concert, uh, a family-friendly Broadway-bound musical. And we have with us this morning none other than Joshua Turchin. Joshua, thanks for joining us today. Hi, thanks for having me. So let's get a little bit of history about you. I'm I'm reading some of the things on you, Joshua, that are that are that are staggering. Uh, now, how old are you now, Joshua? Uh, I'm 13 years old. All right, you have had quite a career already. Yes, I I've always had a love for composing and performing and writing and. Now you also uh, you you play more than eleven different instruments. Uh, yeah, I play thirteen, uh, but one of my favorite instruments to play is piano. That's my main instrument, and that's when I I compose nearly every song on piano. Wow, this is now. Now I have to ask you this: How did you get so interested uh, in in music? in the different instruments and into composing and into Broadway. I mean, uh, you know, at, at the age of 13, how did this, uh, how did you get this bite so early in life? Well, I guess I've always had a love for this stuff. And ever since I was um, really, really little, I would always compose songs. And when I was five, I began to write love songs. And I mean, of course they're, cheesy love songs, but I, as a five-year-old, yeah, but as I grew up, so did my style, and I, my style of music has grown, and as I've matured, so is my music. So I guess it really, really started my love for composing and writing and performing. I was five years old, and I saw the show once. It was one of the most beautiful shows I've ever seen. And I I cried. It was so, so, so good. And it really inspired me as a composer and performer. Now, it's, what's interesting is that uh, as a performer, I, I see here uh, you were the flounder in The Little Mermaid live. Uh, yeah, I... Last year, I played Flounder at the Hollywood Bowl's live to film production of The Little Mermaid. It was really fun because I got to work with Alan Menken, who's one of the most incredible composers. And he, when I was growing up, I would always listen to his music, and being able to meet him was such an incredible experience. Now, when you when you got this uh, direction uh, early in life about about music, performing, writing, composing, uh, what did your what did your parents uh, think about this? Were they surprised? I mean, are they musical themselves? Well, my dad would always play piano ever since I was like really, really, really young, and. One day, like, my dad was playing piano, and I started banging. We had, like, this plastic, tiny toy slide, and I started banging to the rhythm on that. And then my dad changed up the rhythm, and I changed up the rhythm as well. And that's when they sort of realized that I, I, I have something, like, musical. I, like, I'm a bit musical. Now, now, does this tie in? They've always, they've, they've always been like super supportive of me and my music, and I love them so so much. Now, does this also tie into uh, into your school? I mean, are you involved in 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 productions and and things like that in school as well? 
Well, I'm actually, and I, I've been in George Washington University's online high school for the past couple of years, actually. Uh, and with that, I'm able to, to, when I'm in shows, it's much more flexible because I can work at my own pace. And like recently, right before the pandemic, I was going to be in Trevor and when we were rehearsals for that, I got like super, super ahead in school. So that really helped balancing schoolwork and uh, performance. So tell me about the about this show. Uh, once again, right now, we are speaking with Joshua Turchin, who is the 13-year-old actor, singer, and composer. Uh, Perfect Fit, the musical. Let's talk a little bit about the musical itself. What is the musical about? So the Perfect Fit, the musical, follows different teenage performers hoping to avoid the dreaded theatrical dead zone as they navigate through a, a web of stage parents, dance classes, and auditions. Auditions while their stories unfold, trying to find their perfect fit. So now you've got this all written down. It's all composed. And and, and uh, have you directed anybody in it yet? Or is, and, and how many times has this uh, perfect fit been performed? It's been performed a couple of times. And what's really, really cool is that um, you can get a preview of our music on our new EP, which Broadway Records just released, and it features Tony Award winner Laura Venanti and many more incredible performers. It's on iTunes, Amazon Music, and more, so you can download that. Now, are you going to come to Sharon for this, or, or are you going to, or, or, or not? Yeah, I'm going to be coming to Sharon, and I'm actually going to. Uh, be in it as Jake, the character Jake, and it's with some really, really incredible people, which um, the show includes Carly Gendel, who was in the original Broadway cast of School of Rock, Kimberly Marable from Broadway's Town and The Lion King, and Liz Larson from Broadway's Hairspray, Fiddle on the Roof, Damn Yankees, and so, so many more. So, so now, how did the how did the Sharon Playhouse come to uh, to contact you to bring to bring this show uh, to the Playhouse uh, on September the fifth? So, someone actually got us in contact with Sharon, and it, that's kind of how it all started. Uh, and we we've been talking about this for the past like two months or months, and um, we're really just really, really excited to be bringing this show as a perfectly distant concert to Sharon. Now, is this the type of show that we'll appreciate to, uh, to, to everybody, both young and old parents, grandparents, and, and brothers and sisters? Yes, I, I feel like really everyone can see themselves in the roles, because everyone, although maybe not in this situation, have all experienced this these feelings, and that's really, I want to give other people voices with the show. So this is the perfect fit, Saturday, September 5th, 8 o'clock, outdoors, the outdoor theater at the Sharon Playhouse. So once again, they can take in 52 cars, and the price per admission is $50 per vehicle. So that means four people in a vehicle, everybody gets to see a show for like $12.50, which you can't do anything for $12 nowadays. Well, J Joshua, sitting here and talking to you and listening to you, what you've accomplished so far in 13 years, uh, have you have you tried to look ahead where you might be and what you want to do in the next five to ten years? Yeah, well, I mean, of course, going to college. Um, I, I'm uh, on top of composing. I really want to study um, engineering. But um, on top, other than college, I want to keep composing. I want to keep performing, keep writing, and keep doing what I am now and trying to get my music out there now who are your favorite performers and composers uh, joshua who you know who's who's your who's who's your favorite uh that's really hard to choose my favorite composer uh i i guess i have to choose al menken and stephen sondheim they're the most influential um composers and their music has influenced me so much in my writing style and in the way that i Right. 
their music is just so incredible, and I grew up listening to them on repeat. Like I, I, I remember I would listen to, uh, I would, what's the show called? Oh yeah, I would listen to The Hunchback of Notre Dame over and over and over again. It was one of my favorite movies when I was growing up, and um, the music in it is just incredible. I, I you just you just sound like a ball of fire. Is, is there any time where you get to relax, Joshua? I mean, you've packed an awful lot already into thirteen years. Uh, not at all. <laughs> uh, I, but um, I, of course, like sometimes I get to relax, and people ask me, "What do I do for fun? Like, how do I relax?" And I tell them, "I write," and they're like, "No, no, no! What do you actually do?" I'm like, I write and perform. This is what I love to do. It's my favorite thing. You know, Joshua, I can understand that. Uh, I'm 67. I've been in. I've been doing what I've been doing since uh, for over 50 years. And when I was in high school, um, uh, people always asked me what I wanted to do, and I chose uh, broadcasting as a, as a, as a career because it's just an extension of my life. And whenever I'm in the studio, uh, either in production or actually on air, uh, it, it is. It is what I'm doing, what I want to do, and I enjoy it. And it's it's just part of my everyday life. And if it wasn't there, I just don't know what I'd do with myself. Do you, you feel the same way? Yeah, I, I do. Uh, composing and performing and writing, they're really just what I love to do. And um, everyone says, if you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. And that really hits home for me. And I can tell you it's absolutely true because I, I have never felt like I've worked a day in my life uh, since uh, I got into the broadcasting industry uh, over 50 years ago. Well, once again, the show is the perfect fit. Uh, it'll be Saturday, September 5th, the Outdoor Theater at the Sharon Playhouse at 8 p.m., $50 per vehicle. Uh, SharonPlayhouse.org for tickets or 860-364-SHOW. 860-364-7469. And uh, one more thing. Uh, what, what's your final comments to, to people that are listening now? When they come to see this show, The Perfect Fit, what do you think uh, they should be prepared for? You, sure, you should be prepared to have a good time. And, like, my goal in writing and musical theater is – to take everyone out of the world that they're in now and basically lighten up their mood and entertain them for the two hours or hours that they're in the theater. It's uh, it's it's an absolute necessity, especially at this time uh, with the pandemic going on and, and people having uh, not been able to go to the theater now to be able to see this and to do this is outstanding. Well, Joshua, have a safe trip here. At, I hope I get to, to meet you when you're at the Sharon Playhouse. Um, and uh, once again, the show is The Perfect Fit, the musical, and we are going to see it at the Sharon Playhouse outdoor uh, in the... Uh, Outdoor Theater on Saturday, September 5th at 8 p.m. Uh, and just remember, uh, Joshua, once again, remind people, uh, you are the, uh, you're the person that put this whole show together at the age of 13, right? Yeah, I did. I, I wrote the music, lyrics, and book for the show. And it's a really, really fun and cool show, and I hope you guys like it. Joshua, thank you for spending a few minutes with us today and much success not only with this when you come visit us in Sharon, but obviously for the rest of your career. Uh, and uh, just keep on doing what you're doing because there's nothing like doing something you love. Right. And I really hope that you got everyone watching or listening enjoys the concert.